Hi everyone, this is Miss Jennifer with Aqua Penguin Class. How are you, Caleb? How are you, Adeline? Hi, Christine. Hi, Vera. Hi, Flora. Hi, Reagan. You guys all doing well? I hope you're all doing well. I'm so happy that you can join me this morning at our CBS. Shall we sing our Tuesday morning song? Let's do it. What do we do on a Tuesday morning? What do we do on a Tuesday morning? What do we do on a Tuesday morning? Go to CBS, watch CBS on YouTube. Yay! Thank you for watching CBS on YouTube. I'm so glad that you get to join me this morning. And did you notice something? I am wearing the gift. Remember last week I show you? A special gift from my friend and my mom that she gave it to me without any special occasion. Just because just because she's I'm her friend. Isn't that nice? This wearing this remind me of her and my mother. Yeah. So we talked about the gift last week too, God's promise. God's promise to give his people what do you remember? His son, his very own son. Today we're gonna to continue. We're gonna continue. Last week, the coloring page. Did you do yours? I did mine. That angel appeared to Mary and told her about God found favor in her and she will give birth to a son and shall name him Jesus. And Joseph also going to be, um, will, will take Mary as his wife. So together they will raise J Jesus as a family. So, and now we're gonna continue the story. So a few months later, I would say, uh, you know, a few months later, it just so happened it's, they're going to take census. Census is the government trying to have a head count, like how many people in this city, how many people in that city. So at that time, the Roman emperor, his name is Caesar, Caesar Augustus. Caesar Augustus. So he ordered everybody to return to his ancient home to register. So Joseph and Mary... They were living in Nazareth, remember? But their ancestor, actually Joseph, especially Joseph, is, um, is Joseph's line is from King David. Have you heard of King David? I think you have. So his ancestry home is Bethlehem. So they have to travel down to Bethlehem. And there's no car, okay? So Mary rode on the donkey, clock, click, click, slowly travel down. So when they get to Bethlehem, and they're not just them, there are lots of other people as well that have to be there to register. So you can imagine the town was so crowded. People were trying to find place to stay. So Joseph was trying to find different places to stay but he just did not have a good luck. And finally, at this place, the innkeeper, he knocked on the door. And the innkeeper opened the door and Joseph just asked Lee, do you have any room in your inn? And the innkeeper said, no, we don't. And then Joseph's like, my wife is about to give birth to, you know, she's pregnant. We really need a place. And the innkeeper was so kind, said, we do have a stable, you know, stable where they keep animals. Maybe you can, um, it's, it's, it's sheltered. So you can, you can stay there for the night. So Joseph took Mary to the stable. And, and that night, Mary gave birth to baby Jesus. 
Yes. And she wrapped him in the cloth clothes that she had prepared because she knew it would be about time by the time she got to Bethlehem. It would be time that she will give birth to the child, to the baby. And see, she put her, put him, sorry, she put him on the manger. You know what's a manger? The manger is the trough that they feed, they put feed, like different hay, different food for the animals to eat. Kind of like the bowl for the animals' food, like that. Now, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to show you. See over here. See over here. I have a manger scene right here. So, Mary and see baby Jesus put her, him on the manger. And there's Joseph. Yeah, that's the manger. Okay. And then that same night. Okay. That same night. What happened in the fields? Out. So Mary, they're resting. So that same night, that night, some shepherds, I'm going to show you the book. I'm using different things. Ah, I'm upside down here. Do you see these shepherds? They were just in the field watching sheep. They have a campfire going, keep them warm. And suddenly, guess what happened? An angel appeared among them. And the lens that shine is so bright. See the angel appeared. See there? Yeah. So the angel. Ooh, can you see? All right, angel of the Lord. And these shepherds, they were frightened. They were, oh, what's going on? But the angel reassured them, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. He said, I bring you the most joyful news ever announced, and it is for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem. And how will you recognize him? You will find a baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host, more angels showing up. And they are praising God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, they sang. And peace on earth for all those pleasing him. Oh, when this great army of angels had returned again to heaven, phew, quiet again, the shepherd said to each other, Come on! Come on, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's go to the village to find this baby. So they ran down. They went in town to Bethlehem. So guess what? They ran into the village and they looked and looked and they found their way to Mary and Joseph. And there was baby lying in the manger. The shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. And all who heard shepherd's story, they expressed astonishment. But Mary quietly treasured these things in her heart and often thought about them. Yes, so then, then the shepherd, they, they still have their sheep in the field, so they went back again to their fields and flock. They're praising God for the visit of the angels and because they had seen the child, just as the angel told them. So, isn't that wonderful that the shepherds Got to be the first to be there to worship baby Jesus. And Mary and Joseph, they all there. They knew that this is a special baby. This is the Son of God that was just born. Wow. You know, Jesus is born in town of Bethlehem that night. And Jesus, the Savior, is born in me. 
He is the gift that God has given us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this gift of love, the gift of Jesus, to be our Lord and Savior, Lord. I just thank you for your love us so much that you gave us your one and only Son so that none will perish but will have eternal life, whoever believes in him. Lord, I just thank you for that promise. Thank you that you love us so much. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? We worship being a God that loves us so much that he gave his one and only son. That reminds me of our song. Yeah. For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, John 3.16. That's singing with the tape, with the music. All right. Are you ready? For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, John 3.16. For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, John 3.16. Very good. Now, this is our last lesson before um, next year. Oh my goodness, 2021, this is the last lesson in 2020. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And I love, I love you, Caleb. I love you, Adeline. I love you, Christine. I love you, Vera. I love you, Flora. I love you, Reagan. And most important thing is, God loves you, 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 and me. Yes. <gasps> I look forward to see you next year. Have a Merry Christmas.